Righto, Taliotti champs, and today I'm going to show you something cool. We have two cool laptops. We have a Dell XPS 13 on the right and actually a ZenBook, and that ZenBook has a 5800U. The one on the right has 1165G7 Intel, but that's not what this video is about. It's about that thing in the middle there, and you think, oh, it's just a monitor. No, 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 no. It is the Dell blah, blah, blah. And what I mean by that is it's just some sort of number. It's Dell P2722HE, whatever that is. I'll just leave it in the description. And by the way, 49% off at the moment so wolf and actually dell have got a lot of sales on 30 percent off the xps line xps 15 i'm actually going to do a video should you get the old xps 15 or the current one or wait for the new one because at 30 percent off you can be saving yourself like a thousand dollars or something compared to what the new model is going to cost i'm going to tell you the difference in that video between the old and the new xps 15 and it's not that much and the xps 17 in that regard too so make sure you sub up for that but um yeah what about this monitor? Oh, it's a monitor, big deal. No, this is not any ordinary monitor. It's sort of made for business or home. It's just a 60 hertz monitor. You know, it has two display ports, HDMI. It's got a USB hub underneath as well, but that's not what's cool wait for it for the specs it is a 27 inch monitor full hd 60 hertz 300 nits of brightness it does cover most of the 100 percent srgb color spectrum there you can see there it looks nice modern clean it's going to look good home and office and if you want to know it's five millisecond response time 1000 to one contrast ratio that's the specs you're not going to be using this for gaming it's a decent enough monitor with good viewing angles etc it is pretty cool but let me tell you about the magic of this monitor so it's got nothing to do with that you know, yeah, all right, I can swing this around into portrait mode, right? So that's pretty cool, but that's nothing special. But the special thing is, is this. See that cable there? That is USB-C. It's actually not Thunderbolt. So let's plug this in. So I've plugged that in and it is in portrait mode. Yeah, there's USB-C monitors or Thunderbolt monitors. You know, what's the big deal about that? But the big deal is this is USB-C, so it's not Thunderbolt. It's actually charging this laptop now up to 65 watts. That is cool. Now you'll notice on the right hand side of this XPS 13, it is actually only USB-C, but it has display port out, okay? If I plug this into a Thunderbolt, which does have display out, it actually won't work. The great thing is it'll work on USB-C laptops as long as they've got display port out. And <laughs> heady enough they've got display port out? Well, let's find out if that ZenBook there on the left does have display port out. It only has USB-C. It doesn't have Thunderbolt because it is an AMD system there. But not only charging your laptop and connecting it to that 65 watts of power now this laptop here has ethernet because there is a white ethernet cable connected to that and as soon as i connect this woof that's what i'm talking about all right we have ethernet we have power we have display one cable that is what's awesome about this thing all right now let's see if it works on the zen book i have no idea All right, so there we have it, awesome. So I connected to the ZenBook AMD. You don't need Thunderbolt on the AMD. You can still get display, you can still get power, and you can still get ethernet. That is amazing. I'm loving this monitor. It's great for like if you're a coder or something like that, you can put it like that. Office, it's a great home and office monitor. And the USB-C sets it apart power ethernet works on amd you don't have to have thunderbolt just display out on that usb-c so yeah catch you in the next one guys tally ho